we are going for the next point which is again a very vital part of process process control block like me and you whenever we leave place we never leave it empty handed we always tend to carry purse or something with us which has information in terms of money cards ids pass etc etc same way when you talk about the process process always carries all the information is need in a thing called pcb which is process control block now what all information a process needs to carry the first thing it needs to carry is the script which is a code in some programming language second it need to carry resource list resource list is the list of resources which may be needed for execution or may be needed during the execution it further carries data segment if the system is supposed to use certain data which is prerequisite kind of thing and obviously carries own stack segment where all the recursion and other thing is going to be handled so all this thing is put together in something which we call as pcb but this a well organized manner pcb is capable of storing all these things it has its own structure and it has its own formulation and partitioning of the system let's try to see how pcb looks as we can see the structure of pcb looks like this let's try to access one block at a time the first thing is pcb pointer we have already said a program is divided in n processes that means we are n processes working together so this pcb pointer would tend to refer to the next processes or rather to the next process pcb which will be loaded soon after the process or rather this process completes its task the second thing it has is a process state process state simply refers to the current state of the process this can be as we have already done ready can be running can be waiting and so on after learning who will be loaded next and what is the current step of the process the next job which we will be doing is identifying the process itself this is done by process number it is a way to identify the process especially when there are n processes involved once process id is clear we have program counter which clearly specifies what part of the program this process belongs to this is vital because when you talk about a big program divided in n processes this particular part will always tell you where we are referring to or rather which part of the program is executed or is executed as this process while a program gets executed it becomes a process and when a process execute it need certain storage this storage is provided by the register this can have small piece of data or some vital information but the amount or the size of register would totally depend on the platform on which you are working in some processes we have 16 bit 8 register in some we have 64 bit 12 register and so on so this will greatly depend on which hardware we are working on so register size will differ but what will not differ is the amount of storage or rather the use of storage which we are going to do the next thing which we will be using is the memory unit in the entire ram where exactly your process stands for so the memory unit would give you base as well as the limit base will kind of give you the start point and limit will give you the end point so they will together provide you where exactly in memory your process is being stored by referring to memory this time i am referring to the main memory or the ram as we talk about the next info is accounting info accounting info traditionally only keeps information about who and what that means it will keep information about who access when the access was made how much long access was made for and how much resource was used keeping all this information will simply help us to make better decisions 
Along with all this information, we do carry some extra other informations like rights, date of creation, the owner and other information. But overall, a PCB would consist of PCB pointer, process date, process number, program counter, register, memory limit, accounting info and other needed info.